In this trading tool and tool tutorial, I'll show you how to use the platform on the desktop to find, buy, and sell assets on trading tool and tool. And this is a starter guide and it's meant for total beginners. If you're going to use mostly the mobile app, then click on this video banner right here and it'll take you to the mobile app tutorial. Hello finance people, my name is Robert and I'm here to share my learnings and experience about personal finance as a European. So once you've gone through the sign up process with all the documents and so on, you land on this page. If you haven't signed up yet, go to this link here or click on the first link in the description and sign up there. If you use that link, you also should get uh, one free stock when you deposit money on Trading 2 on 2. Once you sign up with Trading 2 on 2, you land on this page. First thing I want to show you that there's actually a, a practice ground here or uh, they call it, yeah, here, practice. And it's like a sandbox where you can play around with real data. You get uh, fake money and your fake profits, obviously, but it's a great place to start this journey. If you want to just try out this platform before you commit to anything. Another thing I want to tell you that there's actually two different platforms here. You have the invest and then you have the CFD. And actually, if you're in the UK, there's a third one, which is called ISA. It's a tax efficient savings or investment account available to UK residents. Basically, it exempts you from paying capital gains and dividend taxes on your investments. So if you're in the UK, definitely check it out. Uh, and just so you know, there's a limit of £20,000 per year. And also, you can only have one of these accounts. So if you have somewhere else, you cannot use it also on Trading 2 and 2. So the, for the rest of us, we have two options. We have the Invest and CFD. And the biggest difference between the two is that Invest, you actually you're buying the underlying asset. So if you're buying a stock, then you're actually buying the stock. With CFD, you're just buying the contract. And the benefit of using CFDs is that you have more options like commodities, that's oil and gas and Forex. And then you also have emerging markets uh, you can buy stocks in, in China and things like that. Another benefit is that you can use leverage. And leverage is just means you borrow money from trading to, to, to have a bigger pot money to invest. This is great because you can make more money if the stock goes up, but you also lose much more when the stock goes down. So there's a high risk there. And another thing you can do with CFDs is also you can short a stock. And shorting just means that you bet against the stock. So if the stock is going down, that's when you make money. But if it keeps going up, you're going to lose money. And the sort of drawback of using CFDs is that it is more expensive and you have things like overnight fees if you're leveraging. And if you're just beginner, I would stay clear of this. I would start with the invest because it's a bit of a safer option. Another thing I want to show you here is that you can get free shares. So for example, you can share trading to two with your friends and then you get some rewards here. And, and the rewards are, you know, here you see shares worth up to 100 euros for each friend you invite. So that's nice. But for you, I have a, a promo code. So from here, if we go, you have here, use a promo code. I'll put this uh, promo code in the video description. You can grab it from there. And with this, you also get a share up to 100 euros. So it's a free share that you can just get once you deposit money to trading two and two okay since we got this out of way let's deposit some money so click here deposit funds so you have a few ways to pay for this you have bank transfer which is always free and then you have cards uh, cards uh, ideal in netherlands also google play or apple if you're using apple device but you get it's free until 2000 euros over that you're gonna pay 0.7 percent fee in the beginning you can use it up to 2000 euros but after that i would definitely use bank transfer because that's just yeah doesn't make sense to pay this much in fees just to um, transfer the money so let's say you want to do bank transfer you just click on this one and then from here you enter your iban number this is just a, some number i grabbed as an example and then you click on confirm and now it's added to to here to this view now you can click on this one and you can select few things so you see bank transfer you select your currency then you go here and you see this number this is super important because you need to put it in your payment reference as a payment reference yeah without it a trading tool to won't know that this is your account it, it won't know how to link it and the rest of the details is here uh in my case i just needed the beneficiary name and also the iban number but in your case it might be slightly different because this account is in frankfurt germany uh, so it was quite easy when i did it and then you just go to your banking app and fill in the details and send the money to trading 202 and then they say it can take up to two days for for them to arrive but usually it's faster let's close this let's say the money arrived to your account now and you're ready to buy a stock how do we do that well first of all we can search for stocks by just clicking on this search icon and then let's search for tesla that's pretty popular stock right now there you go okay these are the results but wait a minute why is there so many options i mean 
there's only one Tesla. Here's the thing. The first two, these are different uh, stocks, but the difference is that this one is in uh, dollars and the exchange is NASDAQ, which is in US. And then we have the second one, which is in euros, which uh, is in Germany. This is an exchange in Germany. So uh, if you're, for example, in Europe, it will be more beneficial for you to buy just with the euros, just because that way you don't need to pay any fees for conversions. However, you have the choice also to use dollars here and uh, trading to two will do the conversion for you automatically. Now, when it comes to the other ones, these are just ETFs. It is actually a 3x long Tesla. This means it has been leveraged by three and it's a long position. So long position in this case means that we're expecting the stock to go up. And in that case, we're going to make money. And in this case, it's three times three times the money. Obviously, if the stock goes down, we're also going to lose three times the money. So it's, it is very risky. Then we have the short here. And the difference between the two is that shorting a stock just means that you're kind of betting against it. And if the stock goes down in price, then you're going to make money. But shorting is sometimes very, very risky just because the way the mechanics work. So if you're a beginner, I would definitely stay clear of these and first just buy a normal stock. It doesn't matter which one. I prefer to use the euros because I have euros, but in your case, it might be a different reason to buy in US dollars. And the conversion fee is 0.15%, which is not a high percentage, but still, you know, everything counts. For this tutorial, I'm just going to select the first Tesla. This is the, the one dollars. I just want to show you how it works with conversion fees and stuff like that. Here, you can add this to your watch list. And this is just like an asset page. You see there's a price here. The market is open right now because uh, although it's evening here in Europe, but in the, in the US, in New York, it is open. So uh, you need to keep in mind that stock exchanges have opening hours. So they're not, it's not 24 seven. Then if we scroll down, you have this graph. You can change the time frames here uh you i see this one you won't have this this section and this section is just because i already did some stuff and here you can see i own 0 0.01 shares in tesla and the cool thing is that trading to own two allows you to buy fractional shares and that's why you're seeing this you don't need to buy one two three shares like a whole shares you can buy a fraction of a share then from here you see i've made <laughs> a loss of five four cents so that's 1.7 percent but I just did this for uh, demonstration purposes. And then I have a pending order here, which I will actually remove because we're going to do another order. Then you see price alerts, so you can set alerts for yourself if you're waiting for some stock to drop. And then you have some more information about the company and stuff like that. Now, in most cases, you're not going to use this information to, you know, um, to research your stocks. You're going to use some uh, third party Usually you're just going to do uh, research by yourself somewhere else. And then you come to trading to two and buy the stock. You're not going to actually do the research here. The only thing I want to mention here is this stuff. This might be some something useful to check quickly. You have the key ratios and, uh, for example, dividend yield. In this case, Tesla doesn't pay dividends. And dividends just mean that companies pay uh, part of their profit to their shareholders. And that part would uh, show up here. Usually, usually it's in percentages. In this case, Tesla doesn't have it, but some uh, more traditional companies Companies have it and you will get that every quarter or every year whatever is the frequency they have set all right so let's go back up and actually buy the stock so i'm going to click on buy here you see the price in dollars and then obviously how has it been doing today i'm going to explain this just in just a second and let's just pretend we're going to buy one share of this okay oh okay i don't have the funds for it so i'm going to buy a half a share still don't have the money okay okay how much do i have so i'm going to just buy a fraction of a share here and this is how much it is in in you know in money However, I can also change from here to value. And in this case, I'll be able to change this. For example, I want to just buy with 100 euros. There you go. It's four points. It will be 0 0.46 shares. Then if you click on this one, you can deposit more money. But we already did it, so you, you don't need to do that. And from here, you have extended hours. So if the market is already closed, the trading tool has this extended markets. You can join it. Uh, you see here, you have here extended hours, but there are more costs with it and just higher volatility. So if you're new, I wouldn't start with this. I would just keep it to, to the regular opening hours. All right. Uh, let's say... I'm happy with this. Let me explain now these guys here. Now this, the market and limit is the most common ones. And then you have stop and stop limit. They're a bit more advanced. I'm not going to explain in this tutorial, but let's start with market. Market order is the most simple order ever because now 
if I would just execute this order, it would just go and buy with 100 euros, it will just buy the stock at this price. So it doesn't wait for anything. It will just execute at the market price at that moment. However, with limit order, you can actually tell it at what price I want to execute. So let's say uh, this is too high for me. I want to have it at 230. In this case, it will wait until it hits 230 and then only execute the market order. And let's say here, if you scroll down, you also have the expiration because in this case, we're limiting it. You have two options. You have never or end of the day. They're kind of self-explanatory. I, I usually use never myself just because if I want to buy a stock, I, I don't look at end of day or anything. But end of day is just until the stock exchange is open and then it will just cancel the whole order. Okay, let's review the order from here. What's useful is to see what are we buying and you know how much of shares we're getting. So here, 0.3, yes, that's what I want. The commissions are free and then the conversion fee is 0 0.09, so nine cents. I'm paying for in conversions okay um i'm good with this so let's send a buy order okay now it's there but since i'm waiting for 230 to hit the, the limit of 230 it's just here it's just pending here you see it's just waiting there until it hits this number and then it will execute it let's exit this one so i'm gonna just call this and let's say some time passed and you now want to sell this stock how do you do it well you come to your portfolio it's this uh, pie chart here if you click on it you can see here that this is, you know, your portfolio. How is it doing? I have a few uh, shares here, uh, but I could now choose one of them and actually sell it. So let's say I want to sell the Pinterest. I just click on the Pinterest and now you see there's a sell button here and I can sell it. Let's click on sell. And now it already shows that it wants to sell all my uh, shares. You can see here I have five shares of Pinterest. So I could sell it all or I can adjust how, how much I want to sell. Let's choose the limit order and I'm going to say, hey, I want to sell this once this hits 40. So once the price hits 40, I want to sell it. And again, I'm just uh, the expiration is never. And this way, when it hits it, it'll just sell it. Let's review the order. And again, I have the same uh, kind of a layout here, except that commissions are free. And again, the conversion fee is, is 27 cents. So if I'm happy with this, I can send the sell order. And again, because it's not market order, it'll just hang out there until it hits that number. So it's here, pending orders. Okay, next, let's take a look at a quite cool feature that Trading 2 on 2 has, and it's called Pies. And a pie is just a collection of certain stocks that you want to invest in. So it's like a basket of things. Now, you can create your own pies or you can copy other people's pies. Now, unfortunately, you cannot copy other people's pies on desktop. So there's an actually library. If you go to your mobile app there, you'll see there's like a lot of different pies and they're pretty cool what people have done. For example, here we have uh, one pie that is almost daily in dividends. So if you want to get every day uh, dividend payments, you could invest into this pie. So if I tap on it, you can see what they are investing in. So the, all of these are the, the stocks that are part of this pie. And you can see there's a lot of them and all of them are about 2% uh, investment, 2%. So you can see that you're going to get certain amount of dividends every time. However, you can create your own pie. So let me show you how to create one. I have a few already here. Let's create a pie. Then let's add an instrument. Let's say I want to have an AI company pies. So I'm going to add like Microsoft because they're involved with, with OpenAI. I'm going to add it. Just add, clicking on the plus here. And then let's say uh, NVIDIA. Yep, NVIDIA. I have German. Yes, I'm going to just use the German market. And then let's say AMD, which is... And then AMD, which is uh, processing as well. So let's say these are the three stocks I want to have. You see they're here in the basket. And if I click on next, I can create the pie. From here, you can adjust. Let's say I believe in NVIDIA the most. So I'm going to just roll it to 50%. And now you can see there's a little lock here. This means it will keep this one at 50. And then if I click on this button, it'll adjust the other to, to match that. Yeah. So you see 26 and 24. I can also adjust from here to like this. So it's a total of 100. This means if I put 100 euros into this pie, it will allocate 50 euros to nvidia and 25 and 25 to the other ones so let's give a name to this ai companies from here you could also change the icon and once you're done just click on next you have the option to use auto invest so this will automatically just invest for you for that you need to send regular money to trading to two otherwise this won't work but you're able to do this and once you get started i would definitely use auto invest because it's it's just so powerful when you can uh, automate all of this you don't need to think about every month what to invest in just set one etf or one stock and then invest automatically but for this i'm just gonna set manually and click on next there you go pies created let's look at the let's look at the pie now you see here the pies this is still portfolio 
Here it is my air companies and this is the pie. Right now, I'm not invested in it. I just created it. From here, if I click on this button, I can come and invest some money into it. So let's say, let's say 40 euros, I'm gonna invest in these companies. And then here it explains 10 euros, it goes into this, 10 to Microsoft and 20 to Nvidia. And remember, I think one of the stocks is in US, so it will also apply the FX fee of 0.15. So something to keep in mind. Happy with this, let's confirm the buy and confirm. And there it was a warning that, you know, the uh, German exchange is not open, so you cannot actually uh, invest into those companies until tomorrow. So here you see it's investing, but it needs to wait for those companies uh, for that exchange to open now i've been investing for the last six years and there are a few mistakes that i really wish i hadn't made without them uh, my portfolio would have been probably double the size that's why i created this video right here so you can avoid losing time and money by making the same mistakes i did